Well, the Falls Church News Press is the newspaper of record for the city of Falls Church, Virginia. Most urban areas used to have three or four, even five daily newspapers. Now they're lucky if they have one. Everybody, you know, wants to read the paper. Yay! You gotta have the content that they want to read. There's Taylor. You have to know your reader. You have to know what readership you're going for. You kind of have to have a, what they call a nose for news. You gotta be out there. You gotta be pounding the pavement. You gotta be looking for the story. Do you think there was a particular turning point in the game? Alex Vadovic made a, a world-class save. It's just a, a save that a high school kid just doesn't make. Standing in the 30-degree rain sometimes is part of the job, but I'm pretty curious by nature, so every time some interesting story comes along, I want to know more about it. You can be the best writer in the world, but if you're writing about something boring and you don't find it interesting, you're in trouble. So you really need to find that hook, like what makes it interesting. So you've been out for a few games, how's it going to feel to get back? Any plans to play next year? You have any predictions? Once you find that, once you hone in on that, that's when you start taking off and really crafting a really strong article. News Press. You're serving your readers and you're serving your advertisers, because advertising is, that's, that's, you know, that's the revenue of the paper, that's how you get your money. Newspapers don't make their money off of the 50 cents they charge for it at the counter or at a box at all. Everybody working here at the Falls Church News Press knows virtually every aspect of what it takes to put together the whole product. It's not your typical job. Of all my friends, nobody does anything like what I do. Can you give this lady call back? She's the, oh, the, the senior, senior of West Virginia. Yeah. Right. And also working in a paper like this, and the fact that the size of it enables you to do every, every part of the paper. And you learn a whole heck of a lot. I have high school kids that have come and worked here. This one a little smaller. Like Jody, who started in high school and now working as my managing editor. I've always wanted to be a writer of some sort, and uh, journalism is a great outlet for it. And on top of that, you just get to do some amazingly cool stuff. I'm running an entire section. I'm running a sports section. Um, taking the photos, writing headlines, captions, writing all the stories, coming up with special packages. I have a lot of freedom to really do what I love to do, and that's create. This paper is going to be tight as a drum. A good reader of a newspaper shouldn't take everything at face value. You should read a newspaper from a critical standpoint. The articles are written by human beings, and human beings are fallible. Don't always get it right. So it's, it's something that helps sharpen your mind to read articles in the paper from a critical perspective and say, okay, where are the facts that back this up? I think everybody needs to do that, no matter whether they're seeing something on television or in a newspaper or anywhere else. Nowadays, if you, you're not informed, you're gonna get left behind just because information just whizzing all around. And there's really no better place to get concise and precise news than a newspaper. I really do believe there's always gonna be a role for newspapers. It's something physical, that sort of stands outside time and space because you can always go back to it and it's going to be there. <laughs>